Well, good afternoon. It's Friday afternoon. Contractors have just left. Take off the weekend. Actually, it's going to be a slim three weeks. I think I have them like four days out of the next three weeks. They got to get caught up on other jobs that they're doing. Well, what's cool? My garage, my pickup is in the garage for the first time, of course, because the contractor is not here. So let me show you what's happened in the last week or so, and, and so here we go. First big, the first big thing is that all these stacks of wood, they're all gone. So all of the wood that was here, and I mean there was a bucket load, all gone. All the wood that was over here, this is what's left, and it'll be used. Matter of fact, they don't have enough wood to complete. Uh, this is the last of the OSB, so they went through something like uh, 500 sheets of OSB. All the stuff that was over here is all gone. What's up there is nails and stuff like that that's left. And then what we have on the other side of the shipping container, most of it's all gone. So we have some, there's the siding that has to be put up yet. We still have our uh, rain gutters over here. I don't think there's enough metal here to complete. I may be wrong, but I I don't think they have enough metal here. As a matter of fact, I know they don't have enough metal here. I only see two pieces there. No, they're short on metal. And uh, dumpster, that's the second dumpster and it's full. So it's ready to be carried out of here and had them put another dumpster in. I'm just amazed that we've had two dumpsters of trash because you have a lot of waste when you have angles and all of that kind of stuff. Let me pause it here for a minute. I'll be back. Again, all the wood that was sitting here and over here, all gone. I think we have one piece of green roofing left. Roof's all done. So we can see all the green roof. It doesn't look green probably in the sunlight, but it's evergreen as the color. And they've got the roofs on the porches. And uh, you'll see that all of the walls have the OSB and have the Tyvek wrap put on there. So here's the garage doors and they ran out of metal to trim for the garage doors. So they only have half of it up here on this, on the smallest of the doors. And like I said, less than half on the middle door and none on the big door. Now the other thing that's occurred is that the windows for the most part are all in. Not all of them are in, but for the most part are all in. So here's the front porch with the windows that are, uh, you can't see through them, that's the pantry windows. And you can see that all of the ceiling is put up got the post covers on on the front porch rear porch is not done and here's the windows for Sharon's sewing room as well as the, that's a guest bedroom window in the back all of the wood is up all the OSB so you know you could say we're, we're dried in except for the doors over there doors here of course in the front in the back, but essentially we're dried in. There's the windows for the master bathroom, master bedroom windows. Third bedroom or office window. Now, I haven't been out here, this is the first time I've been out here today. Okay, so they ran out of metal to finish the rear porch. But it's starting to look pretty good back here. So you can see the, the wrap out here. 
but uh, yeah got that done and we'll step off the patio here It's all my view back here. It's all my property right here. That was full of dead cedar trees when we bought the property, so but you wasn't there. So here's the rear view. See the roof is up on the porch as well as the garage. They've got the metal up there that separates the house. From the garage that's the only white metal they've got up so far and they got the four protrusions for the plumbing and the heater up there they wanted to get that done and make sure the contractor didn't do it I guess they've had contractors before who'll punch through the rib and of course then it leaks so they uh, asked the plumber where to put them and so they stuck them in there and they did that uh, yesterday afternoon, so. So this is the big wall outside. It's got its wrap on. The other thing is that the air conditioner guy, the geothermal guy, got here and of course he's filled in his trench from here down to the first set of wells. And he has his hose all the way in here. I guess he's short a hundred foot of hose, so he had pulled that hose out to look at and uh, So yeah, he's got his And we'll just walk down here We've done this before but I just thought I would walk down here and take a look I'm just glad to get that covered up I can see where he ran his the one hose all the way down the trench to the very end and his other hose ends right here so he's gonna have to get another I guess hundred foot or whatever it is probably more than that because these wells are at least 20 feet apart there's nine of them so that says 180 feet 200 feet so anyway it's quite the view of the house from down here and uh, had somebody from down at the bottom of the hill come up and ask me what I was doing because you can see it from down at the bottom of the hill with that blue on there it kind of stands out so anyway that's where we're at have a great weekend